Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and I wanted to go over a little issue that comes up with you know further decent percentage of our users. Not you know certainly not half of our users, and not even any majority of our users. Just really maybe pay five to ten percent of our users seem to have this issue that when they go to download the software, it turns into a zip file, and it really shouldn't do that and this seems to happen on Windows I have not seen this happen on Macintosh but I'll show you exactly what happens because these links that we have go to dot air files they don't go to zip files but Windows uh, instead of looking at the file extension apparently Windows looks at the data type and decides that it's a zip file so here's what happens so if we click on this to download here and then we save the file you're going to notice here that Windows is pre-selecting WinRAR zip archive and puts a zip file extension on the end and that's that is not the file that we have for you to download it's this is really quite annoying and it's been going on I've had this problem for more than a year and a half since I started selling Air software every you know it's never not been an issue if you know what I'm saying for people so I just want to go over this what you need to do is when you're going to download the file like this you change it to air like that and you also select all files down here so you can see all the files. now this is an air file you see right here and it looks different it looks like a box because it is a package it's not a zip you don't open it you don't unzip it this is a zip file here this is an air file so we don't want our air file to end up like a zip file and I can just tell you that for all of our desktop software there are air files they are not zip files so you're gonna rename it to air and then save it like this and obviously when it gets done downloading then you're going to run it and it's going to turn into an installer but if you do save it as a zip file and you try to run it you're just going to run into big frustration and you're going to say what there's no installer in here I opened the file I just saw some files in there there's nothing I can run and that's absolutely right there's nothing inside an installer file that we give you that you can run you must make sure you save it as an air file and then you install it with air that's the only way you can use these files so if they do get saved as zip files then you're just really going to be wasting your time to try to do anything with it open it extract it whatever it's just a waste of your time rename it to dot air just the way I showed you or after you've already saved the file as a zip file you can rename it at that point too like this so you can see I have one here that got saved as a zip file so all I'm going to do here and it could be anything one four four whatever I'm just going to click into the file name and change it to air like this and it's going to give me this nag screen if you change a file extension you know are you sure you want to change it yes I do so now you have air and so that means when you double click it it doesn't try to extract itself it's going to open up into this very nice looking installer or I'll run run now if you already have it installed okay so that's really just what I wanted to go over today this little issue about the zip how Windows changes our air files to zip files I, I really wish they'd to fix that I don't know if they ever will they should but uh, we'll see in the meantime you just try to be you know we need you to be conscious that you're actually downloading an air file unless it's a plug-in if it's one of our plugins it's going to be a zip file but this is for our desktop software okay talk to you later Hugh out